This is a two row repeat pattern using six chords or three chords doubled over if you're beginning from a loop or button fastening. To get started you want to arrange your chords in order. So you want your long chords in positions two, three, four and five. Colour number one should be in positions two and five and colour number two should be in positions three and four. Your short chords should be in positions one and six and I've used colour number one here but you can use any colour that you want because this shouldn't show up in the pattern. For your first row you want to do two hitch knots. So to begin we're going to take the chord in position three and we're going to work it in a hitch knot over the chords in positions one and two. And then taking the chord in position four and doing a mirror of what I just did, doing a hitch knot over the chords in positions five and six. For row two, taking the chords in positions two and five and doing a square knot over the chords in positions three and four. And to complete the second row, you want to add a bead to chords one and six. And you want to repeat these two rows all the way down until you've got the bracelet as long as you want it to be. So again, repeating row one, taking the chord in position three, and we're going to hitch knot over the chords in positions one and two. do a mirror image with chord four over the chords in positions five and six. And for row four, repeat row two taking the chords in positions two and five and doing a square knot over the chords in positions three and four. And completing it with a bead on the chords in positions one and six.
and when you've finished you should end up with something that looks like this so i began with a button so i've done a button closure but you could do whichever fastening you prefer and that is your completed bracelet